hi everyone in this video I will show you how to create a VBA code to modify uh, a motion or earthquake motion that you have for example in this uh, video I will show you how to uh, clean or cut a motion from specific time to end of the time here and also you can also define a new time step to create your time acceleration time history and then uh, you can also scale the motion and finally you can also export it as a, you can export the new modified acceleration time history as a txt file for further processing so let's start with uh, with uh, with the with this uh, spreadsheet here so you can see here this is the instruction first of all you need to uh, paste your original acceleration time history in column A and B and by the way the code is dynamic so it's gonna read all the data that you pasted in column A and B after that you can modify the input table so you can define your time step of the acceleration time history and then you can define where do you want to cut the motion from in this example I'm cutting the motion the original motion uh, from 20 seconds and I want to cut it from 20 to 70 so anything be, uh, below 20 or above 70 it will it will be it will be deleted so I'm just interested from 20 to 70 okay and then you can also scale the factor by just clicking on scale button here on the top right of the screen so let's start with the input so I I enter here 0.005 at the, as a time step cut from 20 to 70 scale 2 so here let's click on cut and see what's gonna happen so you can see the new modified motion is cut it and also it's uh, plotted in this chart as a red color you can see the legend here the blue is the original and the cut modified uh, clean motion is in the red color Okay, so it is cutting. The code is working as as we I wanted be uh, wanted to be. It's cutting from 20 and to 70. So 70 minus 20 is 50. So the the acceleration history of the new modified motion should be uh, should be the uh, should be 50 because it's 70 minus 20, and this is exactly 50. Let's uh, delete the new modified motion and let's change the input so I want to cut it from let's say 10 to so I cut it from here 10 let's say to 60 so 60 minus 10 is 50 so I want I just want to change it just to show you let's let's make it 70 actually so 70 minus 10 is 60 so the new clean motion should be 60 seconds let's cut it and it's actually really fast it's like like two seconds to uh, base the data and also plot the data and the chart here so yes 70 minus 10 is 60 and you can see the red um, let's zoom in a little bit the red modified motion is 60 so now I just want to uh, scale the motion so I have the scale mo I'm, I'm just like here I'm giving an example the scale factor in this example here is 2 so if you want to scale it you just click on scale so it's gonna take this acceleration and just multiply by 2 if I click on scale you can see so if we go back actually so you can see that the BGA here is about um, point uh, point three, let's say, yeah, point three. If I scale it with two, let's see the BGA or the big ground acceleration. It should be around point six, which is exactly at point six, point five nine eight eight. So, so this is, it's working and it's multiplying the acceleration by the uh, scaling factor two. And also you can export by just clicking in export and the, the code what's gonna do is basically export just the modified clean acceleration time history as a txt 
and the good thing about the export button here so it's allow the user to select the location of the new txt file so it's not like uh, you need to define it manually the 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 location you just you can you can just select the location by mouse when you click on export so this is the code this is the first uh, sub here is regarding the export as you can see here i'm letting the user to select the location of the new modified acceleration time history the spacing between the time and the acceleration is here uh, just space one space you can you can change that to comma or you you can change it to any symbol you want to separate between the acceleration and the time so you have you're going to have two columns correct one for the time and one for the acceleration this is the this is the separation between these two columns in the txt file as i said here i'm just showing a space so the the separation between these two columns will be just space you can change it okay and here the second sub is just for the cut cutting the motion this is the code for cutting the motion and the third one the third sub is just for clearing or cleaning or deleting the data so here i'm just saying uh, clear d7 to 100 or 1 million rows to d7 to e 1 million is basically the new modified d this is d7 to e 1 million is everything in in the new modified motion here in column d and e i just put a, a random number here just to make sure that i'm deleting everything there is no acceleration time history more than 1 million i think you can you can make it dynamic also if you want uh, by choosing uh, something like this in excel up this will take uh the last row i believe then the last code is for scaling so what this code is doing actually it's just multiplying the acceleration time history by the scaling factor that you defined in the input table and this example here is two so it's going to take this two and multiply with any with all the data in column e and this is also dynamic so it's going to take all the data uh, no matter how long it is it's going to just gonna multiply with two with the scaling factor when you click on scale so i as you can see i connect all these buttons to specific subs for each sub that correspond to that button for example scale here i connect it to this button by just going to the button right click on it and then assign micro you will see all the macros here so you make sure you select the correct one here to assign it so i'm assigning scale to this button export to this button cut to this one and clear to this one so you can pause the video anytime at any moment and then uh, just copy this code i will find a way to actually upload this code as a txt if i can to the description of the below the video so yeah uh, and yes yeah, um, so this is for the scaling the motion this is for the deleting this should be dynamic uh, i just put it for 1 million for now but you can modify it to make it uh, erase or delete all the data or clear all the data in column uh, d and e to that specific data to, so it's just gonna read only the rest the last row of that new modified motion and for the cut it's it's already dynamic i'm using end excel up which is going to take only the last row and then cut it for it's going to take the last row of the input motion so this is five let's see one two three four five so it's going to cut this column five from here and take only the last row and so for the cutting the motion is basically straightforward i'm defining here one two three four five uh, different variables the first variables is column a 
sorry it's uh, it's 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 column a but I'm I'm telling this the code to take the range g3 and g4 which is the input start from 2 g3 and g4 and match it to column a and later here to take this range and copy it paste it based on the match of variable 1 and variable 2 if that makes sense so I'm just copying column a starting from j3 to j4 this is just for matching and then here I'm just doing a counter starting from uh, 7 until variable 3 and which is in this case is uh, uh, column 5 okay which is this time this is only for the variable 3 is just for the time okay and then next I so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe thanks bye